I've got 11 ideas here, and they are all things that add value to my life that I want to share with you guys. Number one is this Dexter pancake turner. Now, it looks just like a metal spatula with a wooden handle, and that's exactly what it is, but it is top quality. We've been using this spatula for years, almost close to a decade now, and it is by far one of our favorite kitchen utensils. And so when we went full-time RVing, this is absolutely one of the things that we brought from our home kitchen into the RV. We use it while we're cooking inside, we use it outside in the Blackstone. We even use it as a scraper for the Blackstone griddle. And it's definitely a spatula that's going to last. It's made in the USA and it's, it's metal and it's wood and it's good quality. It's got just the right amount of flex to it without being too flexible or too stiff. Definitely check out this pancake turner from Dexter. Now, when you're traveling down the road with a 7 to 10, 15, 20,000 pound box behind your vehicle, the amount of air pressure you have in your tires is absolutely crucial, both on your tow vehicle and on your RV or your motorhome and your towed. And so having a accurate tire pressure monitor is absolutely essential. However, the thing I want to point out here is make sure that you get one that's double A or triple A battery powered, something that's a ubiquitous battery. All the tire pressure readers out there that have high reviews, they're all button batteries and button batteries are absolutely terrible. So I would encourage you, spend a few dollars more, get the RVer in your life, a triple A powered tire pressure reader and they will forever thank you. Easy to replace the batteries when they run out, accurate readings with a flashlight on it so you can see it in the dark and a backlit display and it's something that I always keep in the glove box of our vehicle. Now this next item might fall into the best non-essential item that we have for RVing. They are LED magnetic motion sensor dawn to dusk nightlights. Now these nightlights are really cool because they charge via USB and so you can charge them up and they last a few weeks. There are ones that you can plug into 110 volt power outlets and those are awesome if you have shore power all the time. But as RVers, we know that sometimes we're, we're boondocking or we're in places where we don't have shore power. So I like these ones that have the built-in battery pack. It does mean you have to charge them, but they last a few weeks and I've had no issues once every two to three weeks, plugging those in for a few hours and then setting them back. We like them because they're magnetic, they're motion activated, and they're dawn to dusk, which means that during the day when the sun's out, they don't turn on. If we're not moving around, they don't turn on. And so it's really nice to not have a nightlight on all the time, but when you get up and move about, the nightlight comes on and you get to see the really cool thing about these ones is you get to choose what color. Now we like the red light because it saves your night vision. It's not super blinding when you make it in the middle of the night and you have to go to the bathroom. A red light is nice and soft, saves your night vision, allows you to see what you're doing, but doesn't necessarily blind you. The magnetic portion is really cool because we stick one to the refrigerator in the main living space of our RV. And then with the metal discs that come with the light, we stuck one right above the sink in the bathroom. So when you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, the movement turns the red light on, you get red light to wash the whole bathroom while you see what you're doing, and then it times out. And again, these are a gadget that we really enjoy. It's, it's a non-essential RV item. You don't need it to go RVing, but it really does make getting up in the middle of the night, walking through your RV to get to the bathroom, such a much more pleasant experience. The next item I'm gonna recommend is called a Rescue Me seatbelt cutter and window breaker. Now these Rescue Me brand seatbelt cutters, window breaker, emergency tools are really slick. They're designed to be carried on your keychain. However, I don't enjoy carrying a lot of bulk on my keychain. So what I do is I take the keychain attachment and I zip tie it to the rear view mirror on my truck. And so if we were ever get into a rollover or an accident where we needed to cut the seatbelts or break a window, this emergency tool is accessible from both the driver and the passenger seat, and I didn't have to drill into the truck at all. And it's something not portable. For the next vehicle, I can take it with us. So just cut the zip tie off and put a new one on. I don't necessarily like those big orange hammers because you have to screw them in someplace, and then usually it's only within reach of one person. By having it on the rear view mirror, tucked up underneath. It's not obstructing my view. It hangs up behind the mirror itself and it allows both me and my passenger to reach it in the event of an emergency. They're super inexpensive and really high quality and I highly recommend them. And if you want to connect with other RVers to talk about DIY projects, gear reviews, travel locations, anything RV related, come on over and join us at RV Gear and Far. I'll make sure to put a link in the description. So going along the same vein of safety, being able to tell if you've got an issue with your trailer, be it the brakes are malfunctioning or the wheel bearings, are going out, having a infrared laser thermometer to be able to walk around and check all the hubs on your trailer is absolutely priceless. Variances in the temperatures between those different hubs on your RV can really indicate if there's a problem or something going on that you need to address. It's super simple to take a laser thermometer each time you stop and get fuel to check the hubs and just get a consistent temperature. Know if there's 
you know, one wheel that's getting hotter than the other or one hub that's getting hotter than the other. These laser thermometers are absolutely fantastic. Again, try and find one with ubiquitous battery, either a AAA or a AA. A lot of them come with nine volt batteries and that's just one more thing to carry with you in your RV. Try and find one that's a AA or AAA power. Now we all know that there's not a whole lot of wall space in RVs to be able to decorate and put up family photos or portraits. And so our family really enjoys having a digital photo frame in our RV. We can take all the photos from our adventures and our excursions, send them to the digital photo frame and have them cycle through while we're in the RV. We can even set a timer to have it turn on and off at certain times throughout the day so it's not playing throughout the night. And it's really cool to see memories of our experiences and our adventures in the RV show up on that digital picture frame as we're going throughout our day. This is really a gift that keeps on giving and it's something that is can grow with the family. You just continue to add your photos and share your experiences. It's so much easier to send a digital photograph to a digital frame than to print out photos and switch them out within your RV. And it really makes it nice and convenient to have all those memories pop up as you're going throughout your day. Our family really enjoys having a digital photo frame in our RV and I think yours will too. Now these next two recommendations are items that I carry on me every day when I'm RVing. One being the Leatherman Skeletool and the second being the Streamlight Pen Light. I use these things all the time, every day. There are so many times when you're looking for a leak or you hear something clink or clack in the RV that you really need just an extra bit of light. Being able to pull out that flashlight, click it on and have light underneath the kitchen sink or in a storage bay really makes all the difference. And as far as the leather and skeletal goes, in addition to a normal knife blade, you also have pliers, wire cutters, and screwdriver bitch, which I use all the time on my RV. Sometimes it's really nice to be able to just have a screwdriver in your pocket to tighten a screw loose on the side of the RV, then going to the truck, to the toolbox, finding a dedicated screwdriver, coming back, screwing it in, and then going to put it back away. With the Leatherman Skeletal, I keep it in my pocket all the time, and it's there, ready to go when I need it. And along with the flashlight and the multi-tool combo, there's rarely a time when I'm not doing major repairs or DIY projects in the RV that I have to go grab another tool. Now the cool thing about being RVers is that we don't have to sleep in the same place every night. Sometimes the downfall of being RVers is that we don't sleep in the same place every night. And so there can be a lot of variances in the amount of noise or, or sounds that happen outside of where your RV is parked for the night. So something that has been really helpful for our family to get consistent good night sleep is adding sound machines to our bedrooms. Now we have two of these sound machines, one in the boys' bunk room and one in the master bedroom, and they are absolutely fantastic. These are the digital versions. They have a battery power that are charged by USB. Before we left full-time RVing, we had the manual fan versions in our bedrooms at our sticks and bricks houses. We absolutely loved them. So when we jumped in the RV and we knew that we wouldn't always have 120 volt power, having a battery powered option is absolutely fantastic. And I can't recommend these Yoga Sleep sound machines any higher. They absolutely make a difference in the quality of sleep that we get night to night, no matter where the RV is parked. So if we're staying in a Cracker Barrel parking lot at a stay overnight or at a state park or a commercial park, having that white noise really helps. It also is super helpful because the kids go to bed earlier than the adults and being able to have their bunk room door closed with white noise machine on allows us to be in the main room of the RV and not necessarily have to worry about tiptoeing around or being quiet and waking them up. So if you don't already have sound machines for your RV, definitely check out these yoga sleep ones. We have two of them and I can't recommend them any higher. Now this next item is super simple. It's a tape measure. However, it's just a Walt nine foot tape measure. It's super compact and I absolutely love it. I, I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do. Normally, I really like the auto lock tape measures where you pull them out and they automatically lock open to the spot and then you use the button to retract them. Well, this is just a normal tape measure. It auto retracts and you have to push the button down to lock it. However, it is so small and so compact that for 90% of the things that we do in our RV, this tape measure is absolutely awesome. It's long enough that you could use it to measure the depth of slides to make sure that you're, you're gonna fit in a spot when you back your RV into that spot. It's got a magnet on one side, so you can just stick it to any magnetic surface. It's got a nice slim belt clip on the other side that allows you to stick it on your pocket and have it just be there. It's super lightweight, super compact. Again, it's not something that I thought that I would really, really enjoy. I just picked it up because it was nice and small, but the magnet on it, the, the belt clip, the small size, we use it all the time and it's absolutely fantastic. All right, this one is for you travel trail owners out there. If you have a weight distribution hitch for your travel trailer and you do not own a hitch grip 
you need to get one. Now the hitch grip is just basically just a handle with some grippy teeth on it that grabs the ball of your weight distribution hitch and allows you to pick it up one-handed with this handle. It is absolutely a back saver. Weight distribution hitches can be pretty darn heavy. And more importantly, they're covered in grease, they're awkward, and so every time you pick it up, you're gonna find grease on your, your pants or your shirt. You've been there if you have a travel trailer with a weight distribution hitch. The hitch grip is absolutely fantastic. You just swing it on the ball, pick it up, and then what, you're able to walk one-handed to wherever you need to go. The hitch grip really is a back saver, and it's absolutely a tool that if I lost it, I would definitely go out and buy another one today. Now here's a bonus one with hitches. If your towable trailer, fifth wheel or travel trailer, is still using just a static breakaway cable for the emergency brake, you gotta get rid of it. They're a pain in the butt. They never go where they should. People wind them through the safety chains, which is absolutely unsafe. Go ahead and pick up a six foot Fastway breakaway cable. These coiled cables plug into your breakaway switch and make things nice and tidy when you're hooking up your trailer to your tow vehicle. They are an absolute upgrade and I think that is something that we really would like to see come on every RV from the factory because those static cables for the, the safety breakaway, they're just, they're, they're terrible, absolutely terrible. So there's a bonus one for you. Hopefully you found some value in this. If you did, show me some appreciation down below. Until next time, I'm Joshua. Happy trails and happy camping.